I'm about to share a clip with you to illustrate what I was going through during the early days of my Craigslist protocols. There is this assumption that I was going out with cookies and cakes and soda pops and hanging out at high schools. I don't even know where this assumption came from because in that video, I stated what happened. I wrote ads and these girls answered these ads. And in this video clip, which is on No Jumper, you're going to see that these young women in high school were seeking out older men. They were seeking out older men. As much as Erica Williams wants to push this false ass narrative that younger women don't like older men, watch this. Watch this. Because she's a lying ass bitch. You know, uh, she keeps pushing this agenda because maybe in her life she ain't getting the best men. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. But go ahead and look and see from their own mouths what they were doing. At one point, he was like, Adam was like, they were DMing you. And she said, no, I DM'd them. Then you let him get his dick so he can make money. I feel like that's what my parents like. They, they never said anything about it to me, but I feel like that's probably their attitude mm -hmm. as well. I was like, hey, like my parents too. Like they, it, like they knew that I was like the sexual person, and once they knew I was making money, like you know. Well, wow, you were a slut in high school. I wasn't like a big <laughs> slut, but like you would like. I'm not gonna lie, too? my mom. Sometimes you just gotta ask what you want to say. You know, I'm not gonna beat around me. the bush. My mom saw my nudes when I was like. Mm hmm mm -hmm. You know, in high school. Same. And I feel like she always knew that, I, like, I you was... You were on Horny Vibes? Yeah, she I was, was on Horny Vibes. Yeah, she was on... I was on Horny and, Vibes. And, like, when, it took me, like, one whole year to tell them, like, oh, yeah, I was doing OnlyFans. Like, mm -hmm. they, they just had an idea already. Literally, I you got... Know? I got... When I was younger, I got to fuck every Man Crush Monday possible. Oh, shit. Who? Who? I'm not gonna name any names. But how are you meeting them? They, like... Younger coochie holes. How young are we talking here? Oh, shit. 15, 16, 17. When you were 15 or 16, you were fucking a lot of famous guys, is what you're saying? Yeah. How? How are you like, meeting them? Then allegations came out about them, but it's like DMs, you know? You yeah, you're, you're setting up the allegations right there by giving no, them but something. I'm not saying that. No, no, but oh, I'm but not saying that. You, you never called them out? No. But they got called out by other people. Yes. This is reminding me of when I had Tiana Trump on here and she started basically naming basketball teams and saying, oh, so-and-so was fucking me when I was 13 and... What the fuck? Yeah, yeah it no, was they crazy. Had, they had allegations from other girls, but I never spoke out about it because growing up, mm, yeah. like, you don't snitch. Yeah, okay. But wait, so how are you meeting them? DM. They would just DM you, but they had no... No, I would DM them. But did they have no idea you were underage? They didn't care. Did you tell them? No. They already you see me. Care. Look, at, I'm 26 and I look younger than I am. So imagine, right. you know, people they they know, but they don't want to talk about it. It's like touchy, I'm, but it's okay because because okay, if you were to meet some guy online and hook up with him, and you never said anything about being underage, and he never asked, then you can kind of look at it and be like, well, I guess he just assumed and didn't ask. Even though, from my perspective, if the girl looks even a little young, you need to talk about it, check the ID, etc. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is kind of different in my mind if you if they like specifically know and just no, do it anyway. No, they didn't know. Okay. But I didn't lie. So it was just, we didn't have to bring it up. I just brought the horny vibes. They brought the horny vibes. And I had a good night. Wait, how old, <laughs> how old are you when you lost your vision? I just don't even know what to say because like, you're, you're just making it sound like it's all good. I tricked this fucking famous guy into fucking my little 15 year old butt. But and you I know mean, what? Geez. During the, I'm not going to lie, during now it's like very weird, but during like back then it was kind of like normal. Like to be honest. Well, it's, it's 10 I years like, ago, yeah. I feel like 10 me, years ago that I was a little like less talked in, about. In America is weird, but in Mexico. Oh, there's man. there's like girls marrying at a young age like it's kind of normalized but i like out here it's like very like no yeah so, she got married yeah. at 16 married at 16 yeah bro yeah man. i feel like that's like way more normal out there it is oh hell yeah bro my grandpa kidnapped my grandma because all right you know because when i oh i'm saying about over there wait, yeah. 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 yeah 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 i was like in my head i was like what you like when my mom told me was like yeah your grandpa kidnapped your grandma i was like 
So like he went into the house and was like, I'm taking her and fuck what you guys think. And it was, he was like, um, he had more money than her family did. And he came back and was, she was pregnant and they had to accept him. And I was like, and that's normal. Oh, wow, that's different. That's normal. It is crazy because I've interviewed so many girls on the podcast over the years that basically were like, yeah, when I was underage, I was doing this, this, and this, basically just trapping all these fools, getting them to do this illegal ass shit with them. Mm-mm. Some of them probably knew, some of them probably didn't. But then they just move on and become adults. But then, like, I feel like some percentage of those girls decide, like, oh, shit, like, that was fucked up. I'm going to call them out and make a whole thing out of this now that I'm older, even though a lot of the dudes probably didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, they go to college. They get woke. They're like, they get, yeah. calling them out. I feel like I'm woke, but I feel like I'm woke in a different way where I'm just like, okay, I was actually, even though I was young, I w- in a way I was, like, involved. You know, like I was smart enough. I still going back. I I, I was still pretty smart. Like mm-hmm. you were part of the crime. Was, you were a criminal mastermind. I was they were part just of the fu- crime. They were the unwitting <laughs> victims, really. Yep. Poor okay. bastards. I wouldn't so say that. No, 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 they loved it. So okay, what? Like, are you doing good enough with the OnlyFans thing that you don't have to strip? No. Okay. So I literally, I, like we said before, I got in trouble because someone actually messaged. <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. Somebody DM me was like, <laughs> "What did you What did you say?" He's like, "Oh yeah, your high rate for impost in three, three months. months. We can't only fans." And I was yep. like, three months. Was like, three months, girl. Girl, I'm not like, consistent." All these girls who are used to stripping in the real world and shit it's do hard. a terrible job with their only fans. It's, it's true. One thing I, I want to know noticed. how you're doing. Like, you have one? No, it's just hers. Oh, but it's true. Like, I feel like I'm not consistent enough in like putting. I I don't want to get dressed and like put content out because I'm out there making but you real money. And dressed. you know, no, I want to. I want but OnlyFans is like you, know, you make like, money and then you make that same amount of money the next month if you keep all the subscribers. And it's like, yeah, you're not like going to the strip club yeah. and walking out with a thousand dollars cash, but you are just or building what? up. You know, well, yeah, whatever you make, you know, like. It's a totally different thing because it's. Mm-hmm. But also, I saw that over the course of the pandemic, where all these porn star girls I know who didn't have OnlyFans, the mm-hmm. pandemic hits, they can't shoot real porn for a couple of months. All of a sudden, boom! They're just fucking. They every single one of them yeah. has OnlyFans now, and half of them are saying they're not even going to do real porn anymore. When did you start? Uh, just from being with her, and then all of a sudden she was like, "Well, actually, it started because we were just like partying, meeting random girls, fucking random girls, just for fun." And then after a while, like That's scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like definitely. I started, I started OnlyFans when it was still on the come up. Yeah. But she so, had a private snap because this is before OnlyFans. Yeah. Oh, no, I mm-hmm. wanted to do a private snap, but I was always like, oh, it's so it was much premium. work. Oh yeah, the premium. premium. Whatever, yeah. yeah, but mm-hmm. I didn't do it because I thought it was a lot of work. There's all of this talk about me being a predator, which was emphasized by the robe wearing bitch, who is a beta cuck, son of a gun. He he ain't even a man. And I've been thinking about it. In that video, I said I wrote ads and women answered these ads. And from that inference, people have got that I was going out looking for young pussy. And, you know, I think a lot of y'all are hypocrites because a lot of you women who are leaving all your little nasty comments who are now all of a sudden woke. Because this was quite common. I would say today is still quite common. These young women were reaching out to me. They were coming to me. I wasn't reaching out to them. And this is something, because once again, in the other video, let's talk about reading and listening comprehension. If you interpret that me writing out ads was predatory behavior, you are a stupid fuck. You have created this image in your head of me doing something that I didn't do And once again, back to that comment, shout out to all of the supporters of Glendon Cameron. I really appreciate you guys because we've got a lot of dumb fucks up here who thinks that I wrote ads and every day I got a response from a girl in high school every damn day. And, you know, it's kind of funny how social mores change, social mores 
will evolve because Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, many of these guys were fucking 13 and 14 year old girls. This is documented history and woke America didn't give a fuck back then. But all of a sudden, and I got a question for you, all of you um, idiots. What crime is it if, let's just go ahead and let's, let's bring the age down to 15. So let's say I was doing my Craigslist protocols and the 15 year old girl answered my ads and she had the ability to come to my place and she got naked and she took the dick. Why is that a crime? I got, please answer that from a legal perspective. Please answer that because Going back, I've researched this. The legal age of consent used to be 10 and 13, and they raised it up because of the uh, very religious movements wanted to push that up. So why is it the crime? And like, I'm being called a rapist. Let me state for the record, these girls wanted the dick. See, rape is a heinous, horrible crime. I've never raped anyone. Years and years ago, when I was in the military, I was messing around with this girl, got her butt naked, and she had this weird look on her face, and she's like, I don't wanna do it. I'm like, fuck. You know what I did? Put my clothes on and took my ass back to my room. I am not a rapist. As much, you know, what I, what I really think this is, is cause I'm way more successful than you, and you can't stand it. I think that's what it is. Because in that video that I put up, I'm not a rapist, I'm not a predator. And you low class fucks keep putting up their predator. Really? Let me just say something. A lot of you are unimaginative because you have a low intellect, you have a low IQ, and that's all you can do is go predator. And that ain't even what happened. That ain't even what happened. And then all of you dumb fucks who leave your comments, let, let, let's talk about this. These are my YouTube channels. This is my little kingdom, right? And if I don't like your comment, I can get rid of it. And many of you are trying to use reverse psychology. If you really didn't, you would leave this comment because you want your little comment, you want your, because essentially what y'all are doing with your comments are throwing grenades and exploding and wanting other people to jump on your comments so you can get your dopamine rush. And I am circumventing that by getting rid of your comment. Cause it's like, oh, and many of you like, you know what I did last night? I fucked a young girl. I did that last night. I did last night and I did it this morning. And she came so hard. She came so hard, she damn near passed out. I was fucking, you know, there, there's like, there ain't no woman that's going to fuck him and all of this. Really? I get, since I've been here, I've been here three weeks. Today marks my third week here. I've gotten more pussy since I have moved than most of you motherfuckers have gotten in a year. Most of you motherfuckers have have not got your dicks wet. You ain't got you because you, you, you have no game. You're not something that the woman wants to give pussy to. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. And there is a person here on YouTube who pushes this false narrative that younger women don't like older men. I can attest to that at the age of 55. She is 35. I am 55. She knows how old I am and she is fucking me. She is fucking me. And you know, you, you get this whole, well, you know, there ain't no woman that's going to fucking me acts like this. The, the lack of success on your part, the lack of accomplishments in your life, the lack of being able to level up in your life is making you have a mental breakdown because number one, I ain't going to jail. If the lead bitch would go ahead and sit down and like, look guys, he ain't going to jail, period. But he ain't gonna break it down like that because his supporters, the people supporting, they ain't gonna like that. They're like, well, he should go to jail. He should go to jail. 
give me from based upon what I said and knowing the law, why should I go to jail? Because I got some young pussy. Really? You are stupid as fuck if you think that's the reason I should go to jail because I had sexual relations with a girl who wanted to be fucked. That's really funny. Because all these people with these false narratives, well, you know, you shouldn't be messing with these young girls and like underage girls. Let me go ahead and tell you something. If I wanted to fuck 12, 13, 14, and 15 year old girls, I had the opportunity every day. You know, it's like, well, they sent me pictures. Once again, it's like, he's got child porn on his computer. This girl in high school sent me a picture. I didn't request it. They sent me a picture. And the, you know, that's against the law. He's got child porn on his computer. Really? Really, really, really. I mean, the global reset is going to claim a lot of you motherfuckers. I mean, a lot of you. Two years from now, Glendon Cameron is, ain't going to even be in your minds because you're going to be suffering. You're going to be hungry. You're going to be living in the streets. You might be even living in a van, doing van life because you cannot afford rent or a mortgage. You want to know why you're going to be living like that? Because you spend your time on stupid stuff. I have people, low impulse control, commenting on videos that have absolutely nothing to do with it because they're stupid and they're dumb and they're low class. And I'm going to keep talking about you folks like this because you deserve to be talked about. Because I haven't done shit to your stupid ass and you want to come on my, com my c computer channel and not, this is not calling someone out or speaking out. That's bullshit. You are a fucked up human being. And with your fucked upness, that's why you're not successful. All of the people who are leaving these comments are unsuccessful in life. And you want to know why you're unsuccessful? Because of your bad habits. Instead of reading a book, you want to mess around on TikTok. Instead of taking a course to teach you how to make more money, you want to take a vacation to Florida and lay on the beach and do nothing. Do nothing. And your habits of being unproductive, not being gainfully employed, are going to catch up with you sooner or later. So if you come to my YouTube channels and leave a disparaging comment, you are a low class intellect person. You are a fucked up person. You have no moral compass, which is so funny because this is supposed to be about morality. Yet you guys don't practice morality because you're assholes. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. It's kind of humorous, really. So I got some other stuff that I'm going to be doing. But I just wanted to put this out here because, you know, I want to address the stupidity of the American public. This is why wrestling is so big, because America is stupid. America's stupid. This is why entertainment is so big. This is why shows like Scandal are so big, because America is stupid. America is stupid. And if you saw my video and you came away, once again, the robe wearing bitch is the one that put this vocabulary in your heads. And we, we're going to see what happens with that because I'm working on a plan on that. I got to uh, do a little research on that, but I'm working on a plan on that. So, guys, If you're coming on my YouTube channels, Instagram, and leaving all these hateful comments, you are a fucked up person. Own that shit, you dumbass clowns. So for all the people who support Glendon Cameron, I appreciate you. Thank you. And we're going to do great things. We're going to do some great things here.